Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to put a background um, into your image anytime you have a window outside. And you always want that window to be looking at something outside and you want it to be looking at something appropriate. So if this was a high rise building, I would want to put a downtown view um, in, in the background, a skyline of some kind. Um, if I'm in a neighborhood, I want to put a tree in a yard, you know, so whatever you see out the window, you should put there unless it's something really distracting. So I have my image open here. I selected my windows and I saved my selection. Um, so now I can just go load selection and select windows here for my list and say, okay, so there's my windows. And then I'm just going to go on to my new layer that I created here in order to um, place my item. So I have an image of a tree. And I've taken that image of a tree and I've applied a little bit of a filter so that it's a little bit fuzzy. Um, and so just so that it's not crisp and clear because then it's going to look odd in the background. So I'm just going to select it and I'm going to copy and control C. And then I'm going to come back to my image and I'm going to go edit and paste special and then paste into, which is the second one there. Now you can see I've got a, still got a little bit of gray on both sides um, of my window there, so that's not quite big enough. So if I go back to my tree and I go to image and I go to image size, and I'm just going to stretch out my width a little bit. And I don't really care, um, you know, if my proportions over here stay locked because, you know, it's a picture of a tree and grass. It doesn't really need to look perfect. So I'm just going to change that to nine and I say okay. Again, I'm going to select that, I'm going to control C, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to go edit, and I'm going to go paste, um, oops, undo, and I'm going to go to paste special, paste into. So as you can see, my tree has pasted in there, and I like the way that looks, but I want to be able to add just a little bit more um, interest to that and have it just look a little bit less crisp, because um, even as I back out from my drawing here, it just kind of looks like I might be outside in the yard, not at the inside looking out the window even though that's what it's going to look like we want it to look a little less distracting so I'm going to again I'm going to load my selection and this is the nice part about saving your selection is you can go load selection and I'm going to select my windows and I'm going to say okay and then I can select my brush and white and uh, I want to change the transparency of that so that it's a little bit more so that I can be able to see through it and I'm just going to brush that over the top So you can see there where it makes it like a little bit less crisp and bright and makes it um, a little bit more like we're looking at, out the window. And I back up and that's how you put something outside your window.